no idea, obviously, about the lyrics to that song. But how's it going, guys? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So we're going to do Ripped Eye by Vance Joy. I've had a couple of requests about this. This is a super beginner song, guys. And look, I've done it without the capo. You can play exactly the same chords with a capo wherever you like. Look, there's no rules in music, guys. You can do whatever you like, okay? If you want to play along with the track, then you'll have to tune into it. No big deal, all right? So let's zoom in and have a look what I'm doing. Now, I'm very aware, I'm sure there's about 500,000 million other guitar lessons with this song. But, you know, when I get requests, I try and fulfill as many requests as possible. And this is a nice, easy one for beginners. And if you're first, you know, just getting into chords, this is probably a great song to learn. All right. So just three chords. OK, the first chord, A minor. Now with A minor, our first finger is in the first fret on the second string, which is the B string. We always count from the thinnest string, guys, all right? Then our second finger is in the second fret on the D string, which is the fourth string. And our third finger goes underneath that, also in the second fret on the G string. And when we strum, we don't want to hit this bottom E string. We want to strum from the A string, which is the fifth string. Okay, so that's our first chord. Then our second chord is G. So I'm moving all the fingers, I'm taking all the fingers off, and then my first finger is going in the second fret on the fifth string, which is A. Then my second finger is going in the third fret on the bottom E string, the thick string. Then you've got two options here. You can either put your third finger on the top E, on the thin string, also in the third fret. Or what I like to do is move that over to the B string and put my pinky on the top E string. And that just sounds, it's still G, it just sounds a little bit sweeter. Okay, so A minor. G. Then we've got a C. It's kind of diagonal shape. All right. So that's first finger in the first fret on the second string on the B string. Then the second finger is in the second fret on the fourth string, which is the D. And your third finger in the third fret on the fifth string, which is the A. Again, we don't want to play this bottom E string. So we strum from the A string, the fifth string. Now sometimes, you know, people struggle with C. They're like, oh, it's a bit of a stretch. And you kind of end up with this. And the top strings aren't ringing out, the thin strings, okay? And that's usually because your fingers here are way too close to the neck. So what you want to do is move your thumb. Hopefully you can see this. You want to move your thumb so it's behind the fretboard and what happens with the fingers you end up with a gap in there see my finger under there you get like a gap that you can get your finger in all right sometimes with my students I put a pencil in there and that helps this this top E string to ring out so whenever you play C make sure you hear this top E string and it'll make it sound really nice, all right? And actually, you can use that same rule with the A minor chord as well, all right? In fact, any chord if you're a beginner. So you see me sometimes put my thumb over here. That's just because my hands are a bit bigger. I'm using a more advanced technique. So when I'm strumming, I'm actually just touching this bottom E string so it doesn't ring out. But when you're a beginner, you just have to learn to, to skip it, okay, to miss this string. And as you develop, you'll just develop this grip naturally, okay? And that's why you can't, when you're learning stuff, you can't always try and mimic what other people's hands are doing because what's good for me might necessarily might not be good for you, okay? So trust me on this one, guys. It'll work out and it'll sound nice. So everything is about not playing fast but playing so everything sounds nice. 
So one strum on each chord, A minor, G, or the sweet G, and then C. So what's going on with that rhythm? Super slow. Down, down, up, down, up. That's on the A minor chord, right? Change to G. Down, down, up, down, up. Then C. Down, down, up, down, up. And it goes again. Down, down, up, down. If you're struggling with the down ups, then a really good trick, and you know, it sounds ridiculous, but it does work, I do it with my students all the time, is say the strumming out loud as you're playing it, and you'll correct yourself. Down, down, up, down, up, change. Down, down, up, down, up, change. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So what I'll do, I'll play through that now, okay? If you're not very good at strumming, what I suggest you do, when I'm playing the first chord, just do one strum, and then the first strum on the second chord, and the first strum on the third chord, but then you're gonna do it again. So I'll shout out when you're gonna strum, okay? Here we go, two, three, and, Stroke and stroke and stroke stroke okay and 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 here we go Faster. Down. 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 So if you're actually up to the speed where I'm playing it fast with one chord, you'll sound like that. That means you're ready pretty much for the down up strokes, okay? Another tip, when you're changing chords, I see this a lot, right? You'll change one chord, and then you take your hands off, and then you'll place the other chord, and then you'll stop and take your hands off, and place another chord, and then you strum. So don't do that, because what you're doing, you're teaching yourself to stop after every chord. So the trick is, to keep this hand going like a metronome. So if you slow everything down, you go down, down, up, down, up, change chord, down, and even if the chord isn't ready, still go down, up, down, and kind of fix it as you go, okay? And then down, down, up, down, up. All right, so just even if you're doing one strum, you go strum, strum, strum. You don't want this. You don't want strum, stop, strum, stop, strum. You don't. You want to avoid that, okay? You want to try and keep it flowing. And if you get a three chord song together like this one, it's much easier to learn another song using the same techniques. They could be the same chords. Just with these three chords, you could play thousands of songs. Okay? So good luck with that, guys. Keep on going with it, and please let me know how you get on. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget, please give me the thumbs up. It really helps my ranking. 
Hit the bell button if you want to receive these lessons every week and obviously you need to be subscribed to do that. So make sure you subscribe, okay guys? I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget, you can find me on Instagram. Just hit the link below. You can find me on Facebook. By all means, send me any questions or messages you have. I love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Enjoy.